Well, that's some music. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Terraria. 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 Yes. Today, we're going to be playing some Terraria. But we're not just playing Terraria. We're going to be doing some Terraria Master Mode. And uh, Master Mode, if you don't know, is the hardest difficulty in the game. And we are going to be doing it only as a mage. Now, these rules aren't all that strict. It's basically just like, hey, I'm going to be a... Uh, I'm gonna be a very blue guy and be doing all the Harry Potter things. So, you know, once I get a magic weapon, I'm pretty much gonna just stick to magic for this playthrough. But uh, anything besides that, and we're gonna play it on classic. Let's name our guy the Reset Mage. So yeah, I'm basically just gonna be sticking to magic weapons. Like I can use any kind of weapon at the beginning and craft and blah blah blah, and you know. But for the most part, we're just gonna be using. Um, and I did a couple of tests. But we're, we're mostly just going to be using magic the entire time. And uh, I don't really know what kind of world we should do. We'll do like a master. Let's name the world. Blaze. Uh, okay, there we go. So only one wizard, though. All right, so master, we're doing a small world. And um, hmm, crimson or corruption? Corruption is easier to navigate earlier. But crimson puts you against the brain of Cthulhu, which might be, be easier for mages to deal with. Um, uh, I'll tell you what. Mm. No, I want a crimson world. I want a crimson world. Yeah. As soon as we open up the world, we'll uh, we'll start playing it. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and cut down some trees so that we can start making ourselves a tiny little base. Now I like to make my bases a little bit bigger in this game than smaller because, um, you know, like, I've seen people do like little bases where they just shove all of the NPCs in holes, but this isn't like a speed run. This isn't gonna be like some hardcore intense run. It's just gonna be a run where you're playing it on the hardest difficulty. Which means that, you know, you get the bragging rights of being that cool guy who beat it on the hardest difficulty, but at the same time, by the way, you should basically never use the copper. It gives you this short sword to use, but I mean, look at this thing. It's so, it's so puny. I mean, so, sure, it has some pretty good crits, but look, these guys just jump over you all the time. You might as well just auto swing. It takes a little bit longer, but, you know, at least, at least it's not hurting your head to do it. Oh! Yeah, look, I caught him in the air. Like, I don't want to be, I actually don't want to be digging right now. I just want to, I want to be able to cut trees in peace. Okay, okay. You know what? Screw you guys. I'm going to, I'm cutting this dang tree. Uh, am I going to die on the next hit? I could die on the next hit. Tell you what. I'm going to poke this guy to death. Oh! Ugh. Don't hit me. All right, there we go. All right, we're going to eat a mushroom for the yummy yums. Although it has a very small potion cooldown. Yeah, get out of here, idiot. Okay, and uh, let's cut down some more trees. I'm looking to get, uh, we'll go ahead and eat that apple right now. We're, we're looking to get like, uh, get a couple of trees done early. Um, so that we can start building houses. But that, ugh. These guys are just, they just keep coming. They're not giving me a chance. I would, I would be using the pickaxe, but I just don't want it to chew up all my freaking good dirt. Okay, so let's uh, let's put some dirt down. And, hmm, maybe I should even this layer out. Yeah, all right, I'm going to even this layer out in just a second. But first, we're going to need some more trees. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, you don't actually have to mine everything. You can just kind of... Yeah, I want to make my house nice and huge on account of the fact that we're going to be doing, like, the pylon. We're going to be doing everything that Terraria has to offer. Uh, yeah, so... No need to fret over stupid stuff. Hello, little band. Yeah, see, look at how fast that is. Like, and your crits are, like, level 6. Like, that ain't bad. Let's see. This one's a regular one, regular, and this one's a dookie. Okay, so keep in mind to never touch that. 
All right, now that we've got like a lot of wood, let's start building up the top of the house. Now, it, when I'm playing master mode, I like to build my houses a little bit on the large side because I need a like big space to put all the banners and all my chests and all my other stuff. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, I don't wanna make it rather long, like rather, rather long. Okay, that's as, as far as it's gonna let me go before I have to start chopping down some trays. So let's chop this tray down. Yes, 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 we'll chop down the tray. All right. Um, this might take a little while, so I don't know if I should keep talking. Tell you what, I'll keep talking, and if it starts sounding stupid, I'll just stop talking. And, uh, okay, I'm pretty much off the radar there now. Because what I want to do is I want to make my house big enough to where I can basically fit everything in this one big box and do all my crafts and all my other stuff. So the key philosophy behind having a giant house, as it were, is twofold. One, especially in the early game, since we are being a mage, we have to collect the falling stars. Because the falling stars, once you collect five of them, you can combine them together and make a mana crystal. And mana crystals give you... Um, 20 mana and we currently have 20 mana and you can get up to like 200 by doing this so we'd be pretty miserable mages only having 20 mana so the idea here is to get a lot more mana and if you have the house being very long in size well you can approach it from beneath so you can gather all of your stuff um, all the falling stars that you need while simultaneously making your house. So you're not having to do a separate thing to get your early game mana. So that's kind of the idea behind doing it. But also, it's a little bit easier. I find it for me is a little bit easier to make my house varied and have bigger crafting stations. Getting all my stuff in one place so that I can collect everything that I need from one place. See, this covers quite a large span. It's not the full thing, but it's quite big. So we're going to now take ourselves a workbench, put it down, craft some, craft me some double doors. <laughs> oh my God, that hurts so far just to get all the way over to the other side of my house. Okay, and then we are going to grab these sunflowers. I'm gonna grab all of them, in fact. Well. Maybe all of them except this one. And I'm going to put them right outside my house. So we have easy access to running fast. Yeah. Now we're on this side. Ooh, wait, I probably need to wait for some grass to grow. That's probably what it is. So there. There we go. Now I got a sunflower spalooza. Okay, um, hmm, okay, let's, uh, let's, let's do some wood walls, some wood, wood walls. Alright, this is a lot of walls. Let it work out. Yeah, only one left. Cool. Okay, now that we've gotten this big house, let's, uh, let's see. I should start making areas to start crafting. Um, how about we'll do some wood platforms, and we'll do one, like, right about, uh, let's say here, and this will go all the way across. Now, what this leaves me room to do is I'll have, like, this is, like, think of this more like a shelf, and on this gigantic shelf, I will have a whole bunch of crap and na and that crap is namely um chest just chest nothing but chest and i'll have a crafting station under each chest and the cool part about this organization technique is when i have all of my my crap underneath these chests oh hey look it's a squirrel and for real this time it's it's not just my add but yeah i'll be able to i'll be able to craft all the stuff right out of that chest so you know if i put all of my ores underneath the smelter i'll be able to just craft all of my iron bars or whatever right into that right out right out of that chest into the smelter so you can like if you leave a chest open and then you access the crafting and you're standing in front of the station you'll be able to craft everything there okay now let's go ahead and put some lights down put one right there one right there make a few more put one right here 
one right here, and for some reason we're gonna put one right here. Now the reason for that one is so that this one can, so that this can be made into a house. So let's grab. Let's see. We'll need a chair, and while workbenches will work, I also want to have a table on account of the fact that tables are needed to make an alchemy station. And here we go. We now have ourselves our first house. Now, if I were to put, um, so what comes next is I will now open up the top here and I'm going to actually make a little bit of a wood platform here. Whoops. Get it, get it back. <laughs> All right. We'll just kind of, there we go. Okay. That looks like crap, but okay. Whatever. It's not meant to be perfect. It's meant to just just kind of be a spot for us to get on top here so we can keep on building stuff. So, what comes next? Uh, I guess we're going to make a we're going to make a room with some furnishings for some other NPCs. Uh, and here comes the falling star. Yeah. These falling stars are really awesome, dude. I, I, I I'm I'm happy to get them. But yeah, so let's uh, make a Basically, let's make a room for other NPCs to join. Now, these are going to be kind of like smaller rooms that aren't really put together for the sake of the comfort or the luxury. or It's just to get NPCs to spawn in, and then we'll make their houses look cool and beautiful and, and that sort of thing later. We're not going to do that right now. Right now, we're just trying to fulfill the requirements to get them to spawn in. Because this is Master Mode, and Master Mode is hard as balls, so... You know, you, you want to have everything working in your favor. So, namely, having a bunch of NPCs. So, let's let's fast forward till I get these other ones built up. Yeah, leaning right on me. See, this is why we made the house so big. Because now we have bigger chances of it hitting everywhere in our, in our field of the woods. Our, our wooded fields. Alright. Make some more walls and hope it's enough to cover this whole area. Oh yeah, come on, land right on me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just keeps landing right on me. See, now I have three of these. And uh, I think that's probably good enough to survive most of the night. All right, let's, uh, let's see. Did I see iron down here? I thought I did. Okay, yeah, I did. Okay, so let's grab this little bit of iron ore. And that's really all there was to it. Hmm, all right, well, actually, this may be a good opportunity to kind of fashion out ourselves a little bit of a basement. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool, right? Having a little basement. Building my house by crafting out a basement, yeah. I mean, I could make it a little bigger. Yeah, let's make it a nice and big basement. One that's got some girth to it. Showing the true fortunes of my foundation. Yeah. Why are those guys carrying other zombies' arms? What are they gonna do with those? Like, you have arms, why do you have to use somebody else's? Like, like they got themselves a zombie back scratcher. That's what they got. I would most definitely want one of those zombie back scratches for myself. This is this is slightly more important than sitting down here. We gotta get over there before a zombie comes. <laughs> Nobody touch me! Nobody touch me! Yeah! Alright. Can I get at least one more before the night ends? Because if I can get one more falling star, then I got myself a mana crystal, which means I'm gonna have double my current mana. That's right. That would, that would be nice. I would love to have double my current mana. Okay, only 18 clay block. Boy, I really kind of wish I got a... Got a couple more of those, but I guess I could still, you know, put my pots on, uh, put my pots on the top somewhere. Oh, ho, ho. and it is now morning time. Perfect timing to go outside and cut some more trees. Woo! Get out of here, squirrel man. You can't do anything to me. I control the world of squirrels. I will rid the world of squirrels. Okay, let's get this big tree. Look how huge it is. I mean, it's got to give like a lot of wood. Yeah. So like, I think every single one of the blocks at the top of trees turns into wood and that sort of thing. Well, I got a lot of acorns too. Okay, maybe like these two trees and we should be in good shape. 
So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. All right, 30 and on a foot. Okay, maybe one more, one more. And then I'll plant some trees. You know, K kill a tree, plant a tree. That's kind of a, something like Captain Planet told me that. I don't know, so, so, some, somebody in my cartoon universe told me to plant trees. Just wasn't anybody important, that's all. All right, so. Uh, I guess I'll go make a little bit of a... Dang it, my OCD is taking over! I have to finish building my beautiful house! Finish it with chandeliers or something else. For now... This is a great start to a beautiful looking home for at least two people. Um, and then whoever kind of gets that bottom floor is... They may think that they're getting the cool light, because look at all this extra space, but no, you're actually just gonna become my box slave. In other words, I'm just gonna keep you down there um, to manage all of my, my things. So don't get the wrong idea. I'm definitely not being nice to you by letting you live down there. All right, so let's see if we can find some ore. So usually what you're gonna find like when you first boot up a world is there's gonna be at least like one little area. Hey man, hey man, give me some sunflowers. Move, move fast again. Okay, see right here, see right here, these little sprinkles here. Ooh, there's stuff over there too. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I gotta get down here, cause usually you're gonna find like a little zone right here where there's gonna be a ton of iron ore. Just kind of like, just kind of chilling down here. Like it looks like, oh, there's not a whole lot there, but just you wait. We're gonna see a whole bunch of it here in a second. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much every single world. There's gonna have like an explosive iron ore vein. And I don't hear a lot of people talk about this, especially when I watch Terraria content on YouTube. So if you're here, take good note that there's a good stash of iron ore somewhere near you at the beginning. And if you heard it somewhere else, then crap, I'm not that cool and original, but whatever. Hey, dog, I'm gonna get myself a ton of iron ore right now. And this will give you all you need to like make an anvil and you know, all that other stuff. It's not bad, not bad. All right, so how much was that? Uh, I don't have any tor here. Put the torch here. By the way, I didn't get enough mana um, or enough crystals to to make a mana deal. Up uh, and uh, uh, and I put this here just in case like slimes came by. All right, do some iron ore over here too. All right. Oh wow, it's a desert already. Uh, this isn't looking too good. But fortunately, we have found more iron ore, which is a plus. Oh, look, we got an umbrella, so we'll use this instead of this. This is going in the trash the second that I find it to see. And look at that, we got ourselves our very first crate. It looks like there's more iron ore down here, so let's go. Let's mine it up, baby. Okay, um, so I'm going to use this umbrella to attack these, these boys, but first, I'm going to put a little spot here so they can't come and attack me while I'm sitting underneath. Just try to mine myself some free iron ore. Like, don't, don't get in my way of doing that. Come on, guys, it's rude. And I have 24 silver from that chest and whatever various amounts of enemies that I've killed. Okay. Oh, all right. I wonder how much damage this does. Well, a pretty decent amount. And we also get the slow fall ability because of it. I tell you what, I'll actually come down here and kill these guys. Just get a little bit more gel, that's all. Okay. This is not working as well as I hoped. Because of the freaking the spot that they're in. Okay, tell you what, I'll kill this guy and wait for them to come back up. Hello, little green. Now you guys are back up. Enjoy the kill of my umbrella. Yes! What expected me to go full Mary Poppins on you, were you? Uh, yeah, I'm role-playing Mary Poppins in this game. Because uh, she definitely beat people with her umbrella. That definitely happened. You guys didn't watch the movie all the way. I'll, that's all I'm saying. You guys should have watched the whole movie. There's a little bit more resistance on my jumping. Oh, I died. Hold up a second. Was I really low on health? I must have been really low on health if I would die like that. Ever since I discovered the desert biome back there, I decided that it is not worth our time to do that. Hey, you're so low on health. I'm going to kill you. Haha, -ha, revenge. Best served with jelly. All right. Grab me a daybloom seed. These daybloom seeds are pretty good for various items. So this is gonna kind of be like a catch-all chest for a little bit. 
But uh, as soon as we start getting more chests, we'll st we won't need catch-all chests anymore. So for now, this is going to kind of take all this stuff. Anyways, I'm sure I can. I guess I can use that in the meantime. Uh, ooh, and I got some stone. So as soon as we get... Uh, oh, wait. These are, these are good to have on us. Heck, yeah. Okay, anything else I want to put in here? Um, probably these mushrooms. Probably don't. Probably don't need to be giving myself them mushrooms. All right. That'll be good over there. Oh, I probably should have grabbed some sand while I was over there. I'll do that next time I go over there. No problem, no problem. All right, everybody, let's get a... Oh, look, another little iron ore. Oh, this is the area where the bad guys come and kick my butt. If I stay over here too long. Uh, the crimson biome is right next to me. I mean... I've definitely had worse situations, but look, this is going to be another one of those strands of, like, a bunch of iron ore. Okay, guys, you probably don't want to just sit here and watch me, um, grab all this ore. But, hey, you can, we can at least look and see the various enemies that are about. There's a, ch a, cry a crimera, and uh, funny, a blood... Ah! I expect you to come down here with me! Oh, 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 I forgot they could do that. Okay, in the future... I need to make sure that I, I I really didn't think you would come down here with me. I I wasn't prepared for this. Okay, next mission is murdering that guy. So how do we do it? That's the question. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going here. Here's the strat, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to build build a little burrow like right here, and the only thing that he can do is run back and forth. You see. So I'm going to, it's Mole Man time. Mole Man from the Incredibles. Here I go. Or the Underminer. Har, 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 har. Now he's awfully fat. So he's not going to be able to like jump up there and get me. So rule number one, things you have to do when you're digging in general, like when you're building cavern areas. Okay. One here and one here, right? So I got all these shurikens, right? Well, I'm going to throw them right in his mouth face. Yeah. Look how much damage I'm doing over time. Woo. That's a lot of damage. Oh, freaking five of it. Yeah, so you have to kind of wall off. Um, wall off where you... Oh, I ran out. Hey, come here. I'm going to poke you with this. Yeah, you freaking like that? Yeah, you do. Okay, so you have to kind of wall off where you've been. Otherwise, enemies will come and give you their big murder sticks. All right. So, look, oh wait, let's not do that. If a ghost spawns, I can be screwed again. Because ghosts can go through the floor. We need, I think, 20 stone blocks. So, if we can get 20 stone blocks before a ghost shows up, that'd be sweet. Okay, no ghost, no ghost, no ghost, no ghost, no ghost, no ghost. Look at all them chimera, though. Um, so, yeah, that guy, what was he called? Like a face monster or something? So, yeah, he kind of... He kind of threw me off the Emperor's Groove! And, uh, that wasn't kind of him, so... Yeah, we'll be, uh... We'll be dishing out to him some pain and suffering much later, I can assure you. Alright. There he is. Look, he's gonna try to fall down here. Look at this smug face man! Look at what he tried... Like, if I were to... Wait, maybe I gotta be over here. Hey! Come down here! Look at him. Look at him thinking how cool... He said, no, I'm not coming. No, I'm not coming back up. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's use one of these potions to get out of here. And we're going to start building our... So oh, we need more. Ooh, we got we to gotta find some slimes fast so that I have enough... Uh... Slimes! Where are you, slimes? I have to find some slimes so that I can build my furnace because I'm out of torches. Oh, this is what I call torture. <laughs> what a joke. I mean, getting torches is. Boy, I really wish this had auto swing on it. That'd be sweet, but it don't. One gel. Come on, guys. You can do better than that. Give me more. Give me more one. Ow. Dude, these guys suck. Uh, is that enough to make a torch or a thing? I, I don't know if it is, but it's getting close to nighttime. We don't, we don't want to be caught out in the dead of night. At night. All right, we got 32. There we go. All right, more gel, please. I just need gel. And since we're not going to be like a, like a ranger, 
You can take your gel and put in the ammo slot in case you didn't know. So if you need to save up a little bit of space, that's one way to do it. Because I think there's a gun that shoots gel. Which is why that works in the in the first place. So yeah, you can save yourself up a little bit of a, a little bit of space by um, putting gel right over there. All right. So oh wait, I have I have plenty of gel over here. Never mind. Never mind, everybody. I got gel over here. Gel on my mind. All right. Let's see. Furnace incoming. Um, let's put the furnace right here. And then we'll start crafting ourselves some barbs and oh here's the quick stack feature you can use that in case uh you've already put items in a chest and you can make them appear however you like all right and that's 44 so should i make an anvil now or should i um oh wait we can we can craft our clay pots that's for sure that is for sure something we can do is craft our clay pots so I'm going to actually go ahead and do that. We'll craft some of these clay pots. And the nice thing we'll do with these is we will stick them. Um, let's put them on top of this house, right? And uh, one, two, three. And now any seeds that I have, namely those day bloom seeds. So these ones I can go ahead and get to a crafting with. Three. Oh yeah. Hey, come here, guy. I want some jelly. Give me some of your queen jelly. Mmm, that's delicious. All right. Wait, do I have more? Oh wow, I do. Um, where did all these day bloom seeds come from? I didn't realize I had this many. No problem, though. No problem. I'll just go ahead and put these guys back. We'll put this in here. This can stay in here as well. And choo -choo -choo -choo. um, I don't really think I need anything else. All right, looks like it's officially nighttime. So, uh, oh wait, can I make, if I got bars, I could probably go ahead and make myself a, uh, some trap doors, right? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and make a trap door out of this. That way it can still count as a house and I can open it and close it as I please. And now I will go ahead and uh, we'll start crafting our way out of here. This guy is down here being all like, what the heck is going on? Oh, no. I put a trap door. Well, that was on purpose, you ding do. I put a trap door down here for my own purposes, not for you, pal. Here, don't worry, I'll put down another one. Okay, so since I don't really have a great path out of here, what I'm gonna do, well, Tell you what, to be completely honest, I think I'm gonna stick around. Ah, there we go. Maybe I should make some stairs. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make some stairs up to this thing. There we go, that looks nice. Now I just gotta, all right. Sorry guys, I'm doing it for symmetry's sake because I'm a symmetrophobe. All right, now, we'll, now that we've got it, now we got this other trap door. Put it right here. And our craft to the underworld can begin. Yeah. All right, so we're going to use this to start going straight down. Did we get some rope while we were up there? Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I got to make sure that I've got rope. All right, we'll take this rope with us. Now a lot of people like using rope to to do other things like climb infinitely into the sky for no consequences whatsoever. However, I'm the kind of guy who likes to use rope to, you know, get down and around, not up and around. So I'm going to be using it that way. But yeah, that's the thing you can do. So if you want to like scout, oh, perfect timing for that. There we go. Mana Crystal number one. My path to becoming a Harry Potter character is on track. So, I got about 17 of these, which means I can go 17 more blocks down. This is, of course, right now to control my fall. Grant and to be able to climb back out of my little hole here. So the assumption is, is that at a certain point, we're gonna hit a cavern layer. 
And uh, I definitely don't have enough rope to make that work, but well, it's possible, depending on whether or not we hit a cavern layer this very second. Okay. We're not hitting a cavern layer anytime soon. Wait, no, wait, wait. Go ahead and put that back. You don't you don't need that young man. There we go. Well shoot. Now what am I supposed to do? We already built like Well, I do have one other thing I could do while we wait. Um let's see. How about some wood platforms? Take quite a few of these. It will take quite a few of them, but I'll go ahead and make a Maybe I should do some regular wood here first. Do like two of them like this. And then we'll start the wood platform there and that can actually start making- <gasps> Whoa! You knocked me off my precipice, young lady! Okay. So you wanna play hardball, huh? Yeah. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Um, um, okay. I'll just start back here. Climb the freaking- Oh, no! Woohoo! Okay. You're not gonna be able to climb this high. Yeah! Keep trying. Oh. Oh, there's another guy! Oh, I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. Okay, okay. I just gotta. Just gotta make it high. I'm dead. I'm dead if I don't do this. So I'm gonna do this. Dang it! I didn't wanna have to use one of those, but I did. Because I suck at my own game. Ha ha ha. Oh, oh, oh. Landing close by, are you? Well, mm, dang it, that lady, that girl, she, oh, I'm so angry at her, but at the same time, I can't find myself not being attracted to her. <laughs> I've never had a woman combat me like that in such a way. Uh, it embarrasses me. It makes me angry. But at the same time, it just shows that maybe I'm not the only person in my little world. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna call the zombie anime, right? All right, I could probably kill this man if I don't play my cards too wrong. You can't climb up here. Well, you can! Oh! Wasn't, well, I really wasn't expecting that. Okay, well. Oh, hit him, hit him. Yeah! Man, that was a lot of damage. Like a billion thousand damage. That was pretty good stuff. All right, well, let's, um, we're back to, to fall. Wait, you, you'll fall down, won't you? You will fall down in here, won't you? Here, you stay right there. Yeah, I closed doors from underneath. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it, punk? Can do nothing! Yeah! Alright, um... I don't have enough rope to make it back. So if I don't make it back, tell my wife that I... Wait, wait! I wanna come back! I need an iron blood star! Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Woo! Where did I end up? Right on top. Hey, that guy despawned. Very cool. That means I shouldn't have any problem getting it. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And make a mana crystal. And we are officially at. Um, we have more mana to, to, to use in our. In our adventure of uh, being a Harry Potter character. Now! Onward! Or belowward! Uh, underward? Yeah. Whoa. We're going, we're going away from our present location. All right, underrated feature. Make sure to use the map because see how I can like highlight certain things and I'll tell you where it is. So if there was light on an area and you could have discovered it but you didn't actually have time to, um, this actually creates a, an opening for you to do that. It's pretty neat. I just had another falling star fall, which would actually be a good uh, opportunity to get some test or oh. Whoa, that's water. Is that water? That's water. Um, hmm, how do I feel about water? I guess I don't really want water to come and get me. So we'll just kind of leave that there in case we want to turn this into a elevator at some point. 
But a little pocket of underground water, good to know about, right? That's great to know about. Okay, now we're starting to actually, now we're starting to actually break into the, into the cavern atmosphere. So let's hope to God that we find a, uh, find some, pa oh wait, some, oh we need this. We need spider webs. Um, that's not a whole lot, but I mean, it's better than nothing. Oh wait, it's starting to lose its wall pattern as well. Ooh, we're starting to find some ore. Yeah, so we're building our access to the underground right into our house, just like that. And, uh, I don't know, grab some copper ore while we're at it, why not? Yeah. Oh, man. There are speedruns out there where they've already beaten the entire game from beginning to end at this point. And all I've done is build my house and grab some ores. I mean, this is gonna be a very, very long run. But hopefully not too long. Hopefully I'm not too much a ding dong doofus that I don't know how to do it. Um, but we will. We'll, we'll be fine. We're gonna be just fine. All right. As soon as I keep mining under the ground, we'll do this quick cavern exploration and then we'll call it a day. All right. That's kind of going nowhere. When is this? When does this cavern become something other than a, you know? A, a crap fest area where there's nothing to do and nothing to see. I'm getting just a bunch of dirt. I'm just becoming one dirty little Harry Potter wannabe man. Okay. Um. So traveling downwards. Oh boy. The music changed. That means I'm officially in the underground. Which means I should be getting a lot more cavernous. Um, things, but I haven't yet. I haven't seen even one tiny bit. So, so a cool thing that um that a lot of people don't use that they probably should use a little bit more often for this purpose is this item called a jester, and you shoot it with a bow, right? Well, if you're a, if you're a doofus, you're probably going to use that just for a slight bit of piercing ability. But the real geniuses, oh yeah. We use it so that we can explore the underground more effectively. Oh, uh, yeah, I know that's what you're saying. You're thinking, how did gender help you explore? <laughs> well, let me teach you, young knave. The best way to explore the underground is to use one of those jester arrows. Because when you shoot a jester at the wall, you can see approximately five or six blocks in the direction that you shot at it. Yeah, but but guy, how does that help me? <laughs> Only a doofus would ask such a ridiculous question. Well, the way it helps you is. I had no idea that you were so smart, Sensei. Don't call me Sensei. That's only something weebs do. Wait, I have money. Whoa! We did it. We did the one thing I really wanted to happen, it was get this guy to spawn in. Which means he's got the pylon, which I need eight for. But the real reason is to get this big spiffy bug net. Bug nets are so incredibly useful. You have no way, do you have even even an idea how useful bug, net, bug nets are? But I'm about to show you. Come here! Oh, I got the bunny. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that bunny, mister? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know what I'm going to do. You're gonna eat it? No, I'm going to stuff it into a cannon strapped with dynamite and start shooting them from a distance at my foes. Wow, really, mister? Um, well, no. So, yeah, in the meantime, I'm just gonna eat it. I'm just gonna eat it. So, uh, one second while I... Prepare the festivities. Okay, only five. That's not the worst I've ever seen, I guess. I'll go ahead and move my workbench over here. Oh, wow. I can make a potty out of iron. Boy, I bet that's really cool to sit on. Who is over there opening doors? What are you doing, sir? Are you a madman? Yes, he's, he's... Wait, did I just make another work? Crap! I did. 
Well, this is a perfect time to actually come over here and put a workbench on this side. And we wonder, why the heck would you do that? Because enemies, even our bloodmans, won't be able to open the door. Yeah, so if you have something barring the door entrance, enemies won't be able to come in and open it. So yeah, there you go. Alright, so what should I make? Oh, the obvious thing to make right away is a cookie bot. And let's go ahead and set it over here. That way, if we find another chest, we'll start using, uh, start using that stuff over on this side. But yeah, we got ourselves a little bit of bunny stew. Mmm, delicious. Now, what would I do with that bunny stew, you might ask? I think you already know the answer. <laughs> yeah. But... Alas, the time has come for us to call this a fully completed episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. In the mean, at the beginning, we built ourselves a huge castle. Uh, well, it's not that huge, but it's very wide. It's very wide indeed wide. And uh, we almost even finished it, too. We, we just got to make another set of stairs to get down here. Hey! Don't touch me like that. Big booty head. All right, there we go. And now I set it down. There it is! Yeah! Now I have stairs to, to access the top of my castle, as well as uh, stairs on the other side. And I'll probably put my bedroom in here somewhere like oh like I'll make a bed and I'll have like a tiny little bedroom But then in the future we can make it even bigger. These are tiny right now, but they will become much girthier I, I promise I can promise I can assure you that And then all the NPCs that we don't actually like want to like conduct pylons with we'll just kind of shove them in here So that uh, I have access to as many NPCs as I want early on so that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you like and subscribe, that'd be pretty sweet too. But until next time, we'll see you later, alligators. <laughs> um, whoa, buddy! Uh, goodbye!